हेलो वंस अगेन आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम आई बीन वेटिंग फॉर द चांस टू मेक अ वीडियो ऑन फ्लूरोसेंट डी टी एफ प्रिंट्स यर यू कैन सी टू डिफरेंट प्रिंट आउट्स ऑफ फ्लूरोसेंट इंक्स ऑन द सेम प्रिंटर इट इज बीन इट इज टेकन आई थिंक यू माइट यू कैन ऑब्जर्व द डिफरेंस इन द ब्राइटनेस इट इज जस्ट बिकॉज द ऑफ द कलर प्रोफाइल and recently we have uh, started with it and i have modified one printer for one of my customers in mumbai so let's see let's begin with the video so what do you need with the printer you can either use uh, cmyk uh, combinations of the ink or you can use spot colors so spot color kisne use karna chahiye aur cmyk kon use karna chahiye so see if your your requirement is very specific to the colors like an if you want orange as in 100% orange color then you can go with the spot colors uh, printing in the case of cmyk you can fill tanks cmyk tanks with the these four rings and i'll show you in the in acrorip how to uh, modify the settings for the same in this case i will be using cmyk colors because it's a startup business for this customer and he wants to achieve all the colors like it won't be an ex- exact or ac- accurate colors but most of the colors he wants to achieve if i use these four colors then it would be only cmy uh, it will be only magenta yellow green and magenta print orange print so in our case we will be using these four colors these four colors so that i can achieve these many numbers of colors this is orange in the design but <clears throat> here you can see it is a kind of golden tint on orange design so you should use uh, cmyk colors if you want to use it for like like a multi purpose uh, print otherwise you can use patch colors so if you have any doubt regarding this you can call me i can't elaborate everything on the video so these are all uh, designs you can uh, do on uh, fluorescent printing yes take a new file i'll just drag eps file into corel draw now let's ungroup it yeah ye chhota sa design hai we can do this we'll print it along with florida florida we will i'll just first uh, duplicate this design and then we'll do modifications so designing is a most crucial thing in uh, uv or you can say fluorescent uh, dtf you have to be very specific you have to be thoda sa artistic dimag hona chahiye aapka kaun sa color kahan par acha dikhega i am just giving you an example i am not a designer you will just achieve colors with it so now this p p i'll do a pink or magenta color so make sure you you will do you will do it with the magenta only like there should be 100% magenta so that a complete magenta ink will be used for that print so there will be no combination of inks there will be only magenta color print on this design so magenta we have done green we have orange we already have it here what color is remaining is again i have it in pink so pink is a shade of magenta we can go to magenta color we can also try this color so okay let's try with this so make sure when you when you specifically want cyan or magenta you have to select cyan or magenta only so you should not uh, select a mixture of color so what do i what do i mean by mixture of colors so mixture you can see it you can check it here the cyan is this green we don't have a green uh, color in fluorescent so even if we use green color we have only one kind of uh, green color so we can't achieve shades of green that i have already shown you in the uh, design yahan par aap log green ka kya kar rahe ho cyan and yellow is a combination here so you will achieve thoda sa iske jaisa ek green aapko mil jayega so this kind of uh, 
modifications you have to do. So Florida, we will keep it in white only. White is in um, white itself is not a fluorescent uh, shade. And for this color, we will use the same same green that we have used in on the top. So we have two designs now. This is original design, whatever was on the display. Any which is it's just a trial for me. Just to make you guys aware that fluorescent is not only about using DTF printer and using DTF inks. You have to go through these design stuff. Now, uh, here is our uh, printer uh, flu with fluorescent inks and few modifications with it. So always keep mentioning your uh, printer has to be printer and bed. In my case, at least if, if you have a machine from Creative, your printer and your bed has to be on the same plane. Same plane means it has to be on the same, same level. All right. So just to avoid scratching, so you don't need a vacuum and all it's, it's a waste of money. Literally it's a waste of money and waste of printer. So we have this uh, fluorescent design here. We are just, we have just taken it on acro. So profiles are already there inside. I'm just going to hit print option. One and double zero only. Sorry, I selected a wrong printer. So I'm again going to show you what issues you face with uh, DTF, at least with such kind of uh, Modifications. It's a it's a Jugard technology. I've been mentioning this again and again. So I selected a wrong printer. We'll select a correct printer here again. It's copy four. We'll cancel this print. We'll print it again. In the meanwhile, uh, these are some. Uh, uh, sheets you you might feel that every time we are getting different quality of sheets so and there is not an op no no option we don't have any indian manufacturer here these are chinese sheets only <coughs> so you have to print on a side that is mentioned on the print so here in this case it's a gloss side and we are not printing on matte side so we have cancelled this print we are selecting our printer So once the profiles are built in the printer, you don't have to do any kind of uh, uh, color profiling and changes. We have already implemented everything on the print in the printer. So here you can see we are running all DTF printers only. So we have a big uh, bull, big bull machine also, but we are not using it. We are doing it on same desktop mini printers. It's way more cheaper than big printers unless you need a very good speed you don't have to go with the uh, 12 inch or 24 inch roll to roll printer automatic printers the print is about to finish now uh, in in fluorescent inks, you will not see a white layer like there. There is a white color on this, but you will not see that white color because these are very bright color inks. So it's done. Will not now cure this. Uh, Prince. 
एप्लीकेशन ऑफ हॉट मिल्ट आई एम डूइंग क्योरिंग इन ओवन यू कैन ऑल्सो डू क्योरिंग इन हीट प्रेस यू कैन जस्ट रिमूव दिस प्लेट दिस दिस थिंग एंड मेंटेन अ डिस्टेंस एंड डू क्योरिंग ऑन दिस I'll show you how how should what is called a proper curing. So you can see a layer like a plastic kind of uh, uh, border or plastic kind of feel on this. Like complete hot melt is melt. Hot melt powder you can't. So this is called a proper curing. This is properly cured sheet. So this is how your curing should be. So we are used to it, so we don't use a temperature timer and all. So we are used to it. We know that it is cured, cured now. So you can see. So we can still do little more curing, but it is not required. You can feel it. The curing is done. We will now transfer this print. First, first see. Just try to match the colors. So our original design is this. just because it is fluorescent it has come like this so it is little brighter so that this is the reason i said uh, you sh you should not uh, just post these images you should print it first and then post this image on an online platform otherwise you will face an issue with saying people saying that colors are different in display colors are different in print so this is completely mirror or reverse output than a regular dtf in regular dtf you will never get a display color like this in dtf you will get even brighter color with fluorescent dtf you will get even brighter color on the print so let's transfer this design on a t-shirt see we have transferred this uh, design uh, this is the new design that we made so we modified the design now so this is a design we'll see how does it look in uv light black light this is what the fluorescent uh, ink is just check how how these inks are looking in the night this is a print we have taken these are inks and this is a uv light just see how how these prints are like lighting so this is what a fluorescent uh, print is now see how to get these prints done we'll do a tutorial on this now